I lost a lot of finals in my career. Nico did as well. Like when we lost to Gamer Legion in RMR, that was the worst feeling I've ever felt. We found ourselves like not actually playing the majors, so it was a big, a big blow for the team. We all just started like overthinking like what happened and uh, what went wrong. Like we were actually very confident going into RMR. I think we just have to have the confidence to actually, you know, be the best team at the major and, and be able to beat everyone because I don't think you would be able to win the major if you didn't have that mentality. I'm ready to play. As I said before, I don't want to out pressure myself. Like I just think like, oh, it's the last major, like I have to step up. For us, it's it's just about, you know, making sure that everyone's confident in the team and everyone's on the same page that we are. A couple of months later, we won back-to-back -back events and uh, maybe we are favorites now to win the, the major in uh, Paris. I think coming to the Challenger stage, we have to show like what we've been learning from bootcamp because like the bootcamp like really helped us a lot. Here we are in uh, Paris for the last CS:GO major. I played the first major myself in 2015. Eight years later, playing the last CS:GO major, uh, still to win one. So our first game versus Mongols, I think it's going to be a really weird matchup. I think they do some kind of funky stuff. I think it's kind of just more about us. If they are doing something crazy, we can adapt to it. Everything is fine so far. Everything all right. Just need to play. Now we haven't played this a long time, and lately we didn't play that many officials. We practiced a lot, so we need to switch the mindset and uh, don't look at, at all mistakes. We just need to focus. This should be the first bridge to cross in many to come for G2 as the Mongols look to do something unforeseeable, and it's all an inferno where G2 will take them on. You know, team that's shown good utility usage. Okay, what? Oh, three. It's not perfect. Azteca swings with a flash, but he can't finish the job. G2 must go searching. They must go hunting and Monacy snipes him down from afar. It might not be enough. Bartak is still a problem piece. 13 seconds, he knows where that bomb is. They're coming his way and Monacy hits the 1D. That's an ace from Monacy. And Blitz, 1v3, not long for this world. He's living on borrowed time here and he knows it. G2 swing him together and they pull this one over the line. It is a lovely looking G2 win. <laughs> Yeah. We didn't wake up in the first half, but in the second half we just smashed them. Nothing, nothing, that, nothing really crazy. I think we most likely will play against Complexity. I'm not sure, but uh, let's see. So versus Complexity, I think in, in Prac we've been going pretty well versus them, and I think we have a pretty good map pool versus them, so I think we should be able to take it pretty cleanly. But yeah, like I said, they have some, some decent players on the team as well, and it's the best one, so you never really know. It is time to continue. Complexity looking to bring the fight to G2. Back. Ooh, that's the bomb, Grim. No! No smoke! No On this A side of the map, but he's so intently just trying. Wait for Monacy, still ready for it. Well, lads, you have to give this one a go. I was uh. worried about that one. <laughs> Fanga started walking towards D spawn, and yeah, Monacy. Give him another one. Why not? I think he's, he's planning to finish this all on his own. 33 frags, looking for 34. Oh, Monacy! He's definitely here in Paris. A shining performance. Getting to play more officials is good for this team because we don't play too many officials compared to what I was used to in Copenhagen Flames. We play maybe 25% of what we did in Copenhagen Flames or something. Tomorrow we are playing against Apex. They showed some good results. I think they are really good individually. But we are G2, we cannot be afraid of anyone. If we do like we did today, I think tomorrow we will not have any problems. G2, it won't be a free win by any means, but getting it will propel them forward to that top 16, one step closer to the trophy. All those rounds ago, if Hoopsie didn't bail out on JKS, oh, it'd probably be over. Nico, Nico what a double. What he can. Tech no way. He's gonna open up, and now he's got the AWP as well. Nico's gonna do this alone. On. He's on for the ace right now, but he might be here to put G2 on the map. That's the Nico round we were waiting for. He's ready to end this map in style. Three kills on a plate. Nico tucks in, and Hunter helps out to fight 16 rounds for G2. That is the map locked in their opponent's pick. Yeah, but just having him here is nice, right? You know they're all in the site right now. And if they bring the fight to Nico, oh, he'll take that every day of the week. <laughs> Last bullet for Nico finds it. Oh, kicks out, and now he knows a second player's ready to swing. JKS has played this perfectly. He pieced the puzzle together and now finds himself in the 1v1. Stiko was the man to get the ball rolling for Apex here, but can he finish the job? Tag oh, JKS, they're both oh, missing oh, everything. Ah, it's gonna come down to the knife fight, and JKS with his knifey gets the kill.
Yeah, so we played a really nice game versus Apex and we managed to beat them pretty convincingly 2-0. I think the second map was... Second map was Inferno. We, we played really good and uh, we are feeling pretty, pretty confident. So yeah, it, obviously it's really important to go 3-0 because we get uh, a couple of days off now and we can prepare for our next matchup in the Legends stage. For us, it's the most ideal situation and, and yeah, I think we played really good during this stage and hopefully we can keep it up for the, the Legends stage and I think we'll be on path for a, uh, a good tournament. On our day off, we went with the team uh, to the Eiffel Tower. Me, Sveni and our manager, Raf. Us three together, we went to the Louvre. We saw some things, it was beautiful, some portraits, like, you know, like this uh, uh, painting around, like, on the walls. Also, we saw Mona Lisa. And after with the team, we went to the Eiffel Tower. So it's beautiful because, like, at 10, I think uh, it starts flicking. Uh, yeah, it's really beautiful. Oh! It stopped, it stopped, it's okay. Oh, it didn't stop. It, it stopped flickering. <laughs> <laughs>